Hi, this is Chris Jarrell with Everyday VBA. Today we're going to be looking at the code window in the Visual Basic Editor. You can get there by going to your developer ribbon and hitting here. You can hit Alt F11. Works just fine as well. It's going to basically pull up our code window. We actually looked at the VBA project, which shows all of your open workbooks and add-ins. We also looked at the properties. Now we're going to look at the code window, which basically will open when we are in an object that you can write code in. So the first thing we want to do is we want to click on sheet one. If you double click there, it's going to open up the code window. Now this is where we would write specific code for uh, the for this sheet only. Now when you're writing specifically in these in these objects, those only that code only works for that sheet. Now if we click down here in worksheet, it's going to go ahead and open up this piece of code, which is basically if a selection changes, run this piece of code. You also have these these drop down uh, this drop down box which will give you basically options to activate code when uh, when a certain action takes place so for example if we click on this every time you activate that worksheet we would put our code in here um, another one that's that's you know if you deactivate it or if you made a change within that you know that that's going to be that code will work now you need to make sure that you're in the right area. So the other areas that code can work is if you click on a user form, that user form also has code. So if we double click on if we double click on this code, now we're inside that user form. So notice up here you've got user form. Uh, and within that user form, you've got all these options. So you can look at those and, and see you know which one of those going to work. Typically when you're using the form, the first one you want to do is initialize. It's very common when you're using forms because you do typically you want to run code before those actually open or the, they're viewable by the end user. And then lastly what we want to do is we want to do a VBA module. Now typically when you're writing code almost all of that is going to be written in a module. That's typically where the majority of your code hangs out. Um, and you'll notice if you click on here, there's really no declarations because this is more general. Um, but this, again, this is this is the code window. Uh, so this is kind of a quick little overview. The next couple videos we're going to do is we're going to show you how to tie your code window uh, and make some changes in your property module as well as your properties. Uh, and we're going to do that inside of a, an actual module. So that's kind of a brief rundown. So hope you enjoyed. Thanks again for watching this video. Please subscribe to the Everyday VBA YouTube channel. Please join the VBA community at everydayvba.com. And most importantly, learn VBA.